as COVID-19 cases continue to rise, jury trials in Bibb County are going on hold for the month of September. Ashlyn Webb spoke with Chief Superior Court Judge Howard Sims today about that decision. Ashlyn joins us in studio with more. Yes, Chief Judge Howard Sims says that it is now official. In the last hour, Sims signed the judicial emergency order halting jury trials for the next month. We don't have a facility right now where we can spread it out enough. Sim says that was the reason he decided in August to delay trials, to wait and see if COVID numbers started to decline, but they have not gotten better. As more demands for trials and other legal obligations roll in, Judge Sim says he has no other choice but to pause jury trials for the next 30 days, tacking on to the already 14 months worth of backlogs. No backlog helps and by adding cases to an already large calendar is never a good thing, but you have to balance it against public health. But with backlog cases come delayed justice. This is Sims message to victims and their families to be as patient as you can possibly be because that's we're, we're going as fast as we can go and with taking into account trying to keep from putting people in harm's way. Sheriff David Davis says that backlog will likely impact his jail's population. Right now, Bibb County is holding 846 inmates. Their cap is 966. 93 percent are in for felony offenses. 84 inmates are charged with murder. Well, it's always a concern. We would hope that uh, maybe uh, some of these cases will plead out. Megan District Attorney Anita Reynolds Howard said in a statement to 13 WMAZ that, quote, we are ready when Chief Judge Sims allows us to move forward as he's the only person with the power to make that decision. We have offered creative we have offered creative solutions to the courts throughout this pandemic to keep moving that have been considered but not acted upon. Now, this decision to pause trials also comes as the Macon Judicial Circuit deals with another brewing problem, not enough prosecutors. As we reported last week, six assistant district attorneys turned in their resignation letters last Wednesday, and their official end date is later this month. In a statement, D.A. Howard said her office will, quote, still retain the most experienced, dedicated, and diverse prosecutorial team in middle Georgia. Chief Judge Sims says he's spoken with, with Howard about the issue. And she has assured me that there won't be any delays, so... I'm going to hold them to that and hopefully there won't. Sim says the challenge is filling those six vacancies without taking a hit on experience. We'll keep you updated on that process and any fallout from the judicial delays. Frank Laurie, back to you. Thank you, Ashlyn.